Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. How do you get fluoride out of your water? As I've said before, the reason we have fluoride in our water is because of the American Dental Association. This is the group that wants fluoride in our water and they go around to municipalities all over the country and what they do is they tell them, do you have fluoride in your water? No? Oh my gosh, How you people are stupid here. You need to put fluoride in the water because otherwise uh, your, your teeth are all going to go rotten. When they're selling water fluoridation, they didn't just walk out and say it's good for you. They actually hired Edward Bernays, Sigmund Freud's nephew, to sell Americans on how good it was to have silicon fluoride in the water. Edward Bernays, also known as the father of spin, pioneered the idea of crowd psychology. In 1928, he wrote a book called Propaganda, in which he wrote, If we understand the mechanism and motives of the group mind, is it not possible to control and regiment the masses according to our will without their knowing it? He called it the engineering of consent. So they convinced us to do this starting back in like in the 60s. I remember we used to have these big sticks like sticking out of our mouth as we had these fluoride treatments and everything. They don't do that anymore. They just put the fluoride in the toothpaste. Look, Mom, no cavities. Yes, Crest toothpaste really cuts down cavities. So what you have in natural uh, drinking water, if you have fluoride in it, is what they call calcium fluoride. And what you get in the municipal uh, municipalities around the country is called something that's called sodium fluoride. So it's a totally different type of fluoride. Fluoride is not m meant to be in the body no matter what. Uh, it, it interferes with uh, iodine uptake. Um, and, uh, you know, my father, for instance, he grew up in the, in the fluoride belt down in uh, New Mexico. So uh, they had no, uh, they had tons of, tons, like 18 parts per million of fluoride in their water. That's off the scales. You know, it models your teeth, it rot, rots them out. It's really bad for you. And then, of course, they're putting this in, into, our, into our drinking water. So how do you remove it? The only way you're going to remove it is with a fluoride filter. It's an aluminum filter or an alum filter. So don't get confused with regular aluminum, uh, the kind of like aluminum foil, this kind of stuff. This is a totally different material. It's alum. Them, but it's really the only stuff that will remove arsenic and fluoride from the water. There's nothing else out there. So I sell quite a few of these things. People do not want fluoride in the water. Geez, I can't imagine why. After the Halloween disaster in Denora, Pennsylvania, Philip Stadler, a chemist, went to Denora and he was able to test and measure and prove that it was fluoride that had caused all those deaths. Given the proven effectiveness of these techniques, it was no coincidence that the Aluminum Company of America asked Bernays to head the campaign for the fluoridation of the United States water supply. The fluoride deception, he reached out to Edward Bernays. Bernays said it was child's play to convince the American public that fluoride was good for them. While the official narrative rang, the case for fluoride had been proven. Some people weren't so quick to jump on the fluoridation bandwagon. Because fluoride had been used for years as a rat poison to kill coyotes, to kill cockroaches. Some of those opposing fluoridation were in fact dentists. And because of their advocacy for safe water, they were censored by the American Dental Association. It's really bad stuff. I mean, you know, it's, it's why we had no say in this. It's like daylight savings time in this country. I mean, they just kind of forced it down our throats. And the, and the fluoride is the same thing. You're never gonna get rid of it. This is the way it is, and then you've got to go around and find filters that will remove fluoride from the water. So this is the only one I know of that will do it. Uh, the only other way to do it is through reverse osmosis or distillation. Uh, but then you have to put minerals back in the water. You have to remineralize it, and you don't want to do that. That's a big hassle. So um, anyway, if you want to get the fluoride of your water, this is the filter you want. I would stay away from fluoride at all costs because... Uh, it's really bad stuff and it messes with your brain. A lot of people say it, you know, coats the pineal gland in the center of your, your brain. It could be, um, you know, it's your spiritual eye. It's, you know, one of the most important glands in the body. Um, but it's hard to tell if that's really happening or not. But I wouldn't take any chances. Um, I'd take the fluoride out of my water no matter what. Dr. Bob, I'll see you guys next time.